Today we'll recap a 2021 South African ecological horror thriller film named Gaia. An injured forest ranger on a routine mission is saved by two off-the-grid survivalists. What is initially a welcome rescue grows more suspicious, as the son and his renegade father reveal a cultish devotion to the forest. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie we see Tsitsikema Forest, a very dense forest in South Africa. Here Gabai and Winston, two employees of South Africa's forestry service are traveling along a river, searching for something with the help of a drone. Suddenly their drone goes in front of a man and he catches and breaks it. Gabai decides to enter the forest, retrieve the drone and rejoin Winston later, saying they can't just leave their trash here. Now Gabai enters the forest, and then we see two tribals who are taking the drone with them. One of them puts mud on the camera installed in the forest and then we see them setting a trap. On the other hand, Winston goes to change the card of the camera installed in the forest and is surprised to see that it is covered with mud and he could not understand who would have done this and why. Here they both collect some insects and mushrooms and something comes out of that mushroom. Gabai hears some strange sounds due to which she starts leaving there in fear but then she triggers a trap which leads to a wooden stake piercing through her foot. Now she tries to contact Winston for help but his device was left on the boat. Then she realizes that someone is around her and she starts removing the wooden stick from her foot. Now Winston hears her scream and runs to get the wireless on the boat, but it accidentally falls into the water and gets damaged. Now the forest gets covered by a red glow as night falls, which Gabai is quite surprised to see. She starts walking towards that light and reaches a wooden cabin, where no one is there. Now she sees the wound in her leg there and decides to stop there and rest and recover. On the other hand, Winston sees someone behind the tree and starts following her mistaking it for her. Now while sleeping Gabi sees a fungus growing on her hand, but it was a nightmare. Then those two tribals come to the cabin and looking at her wound, tell her that she broke their trap. Here Winston hears some sound and sees a strange creature in front of him and runs away in fear. A man in the cabin tells his name as Baron and treats Gabi's wound. The other boy is Stefan. Baron's son, Gabai tells him that one of her companions is also outside in the forest. On the other hand, Winston once again encounters the creature. Now before going to sleep, Gabai asks Baron about some strange creature seen in the forest, but he doesn't answer it. Now Winston is hiding from the creature when a fungus suddenly attacks and infects him. The next morning, Baron applies an herb paste to Gabai's foot, and Stefan begins to bandage her. Here he touches her and Gabai wakes up from sleep and sees that fungus has grown on her body. But it is a nightmare. After some time she tries to contact Winston but there is no answer. But then she hears Winston screams. Baron and Stefan go to the forest to hunt, kills an animal, and apply its blood to their chin. Then they read a prayer and only then do they smell of burning. Gabai lights a fire in the cabin so that Vincent can get a signal. And during this time he finds a photo of a lady. Then she hears Baron's voice and puts the photo back and Baron extinguishes the fire. He says that they do not make a fire in the daylight. Now in the night, Gabai again tries to contact Vincent but does not get any reply. Baron tells her that he used to be a plant pathologist, who started living in the forest after his wife Lily died of bone cancer 13 years prior, and that Stefan was conceived in the house, which was where he and Lily had their honeymoon. He then states that he met God while in the forest. Here Gabai sees that her wound has healed. Stefan then gives her a locket which she wears. On the other hand, the fungus has grown on Winston's body. Later, Gabai is almost infected by a similar rapidly growing fungus while sleeping. But she is saved when Baron wakes her up, due to the creatures trying to break into the house. Baron tells Gabai that the thing is blind and asks her to stay by the wall. Then the creature breaks in and is revealed to be ordinary humans covered with fungus. Stefan stabs it after which Baron hits it and drives it away. Now because its blood had spilled on Gabai, Stefan takes off her clothes and starts cleaning her, so that she does not get infected. Baron explains that the fungus infects humans and feeds on the eyes, mouth, and lungs and that they infect other people via spores. He also explains that the largest organism on the planet lives close to the house and is looking to spread. The next morning, Gabai wakes up again seeing a nightmare and Stefan is sitting beside her. Then she shows him her phone which he is quite surprised to see. Just then Baron comes there and angrily tells her to keep her things away from them. And he breaks that phone too. Later, Gabai finds Baron's writings, 
which compare humanity to monkeys in captivity. Baron provides offerings to a tree, which contains the previously mentioned organism. He then prays, and both he and Stefan eat some of the mushrooms growing in the tree. Then when they come back, they see that fungus is growing on Gabi's hand. Now Gabi is leaving from there, which makes Stefan very upset. Gabi asks Baron to take Stefan with her. But Baron and Gabi start heading out of the forest when Gabi finds Winston's flashlight. Now they start looking for Vincent and after some time they find him too, who is now covered with several species of fungi. But he was still alive and begs them to kill him. Gabi stops Baron from shooting him with an arrow. So he places an arrow in front of Winston's mouth which he impales himself on it. Now the noise attracts the attention of the creatures, forcing Baron and Gabi to return to the house. Now at night, Gabi sees that fungus is growing on her thigh and she tells Baron that she knows he has medicines. But he leaves from there without saying anything. Stefan tells Gabi that he has gone to pray. Then he says that his mother lives in this forest and he will show her. On the other hand, Baron makes an offering to that tree and there he notices something that scares him a lot. Here in the house, Gabi is trying to persuade Stefan to run away with her. But he says that dad says everyone is going to die. Only then does Baron comes back scared. Now the next morning Baron gives Stefan a mushroom to eat and then he starts following him. Stefan comes running home and feeds the mushroom to Gabi, which Baron sees. Then he asks Gabi to go, to which she says that she is staying. She sees that her fungus is getting destroyed by eating mushrooms. Now Gabi and Stefan start getting closer to each other. He then takes her to see his mother who has been transformed into an animate tree and still has her wedding ring on one of her transformed fingers. Now they come back home and Gabi inserts the SD card from one of the cameras she and Winston placed in the forest, and finds that several of the photos show the creatures. Baron reveals in a rant that he believes the world is doomed due to humanity's actions. That's why nature will now take its revenge and these organisms will grow by eliminating humans, and then only forests will be left in the world. Now Gabi says that she wants to see this. Now in the night, they do a ritual in which Baron blows a powder on Gabi's face, due to which she faints. Then she comes to another world where they are all naked and stands in front of a tree. She then touches it and starts seeing strange visions. She sees Stefan emerging from the swamp and then starts following him, after which she gets intimate with him. But then after a while, she wakes up and sees Baron banging the tree, and Stefan's mouth impaled with an arrow. Then the blood starts coming out of her eyes too and she comes back to her world. She asks where she was, to which Baron tells that she was in dream time for 15 minutes. He asked her what did Lily tell her? It is now revealed that that night Lily had asked Baron for Stefan's sacrifice. Next, Gabi and Stefan are playing outside when she tells him that they must get away from here. Now at night when Baron goes out, Gabi gets up and wakes Stefan and they begin heading towards the city, but are confronted by Baron. Baron tells Stefan that she will sell him as a slave, he tries his best to convince him and Stefan finally agrees and goes back to him. Then Gabi begins heading back to the city alone, however, changes her mind and returns to the house. She hides and sees that Baron is taking Stefan with him somewhere. After they leave, she takes bow and arrow from the house and starts chasing them. Here we see an axe in Baron's hand, and when Stefan asks him about it, he says that they are going to give sacrifice. Then he makes Stefan sit in front of the tree and tells him that she has chosen him. Then he cuts Stefan's back with a knife. Here in the forest, some creatures start chasing Gabi, and she starts killing them and moving forward. Here Baron makes Stefan lie down in front of the tree and Root starts clutching his hands. Now he is about to kill him, but then Gabi reaches there and stops him. Then he leaves Stefan and starts coming towards Gabi, and both of them start fighting. But Baron is about to kill her by overpowering her, but Stefan stops him. Now during this Baron hits Gabi due to which she falls down. Just then a creature comes to Gabi and infects her, and Stefan starts attacking that creature. Meanwhile, Baron drags Gabi and puts her in front of the tree, and is about to kill her when Stefan comes from behind and attacks Baron. Now Gabi takes Stefan to the house where she starts cleaning herself, and Stefan comes from behind and hugs her. Now the next morning, Gabi wakes up again with a nightmare. Baron is later shown with the fungus growing from his back and offering his own blood to the organism, but this time he doesn't get mushrooms. Sometime later, Gabi becomes infected by the fungus, and her body becomes covered with it. She begs Stefan to kill her, and it is implied that he does so. Then he sees Gabi for the last time and leaves her body in the house and heads to the city, 
Then we see him in the city where he has a meal and then leaves the restaurant. The leftovers of his meal quickly become covered with fungus and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.